I'm going to stand back here, by the way, oh, I'm recording. Bar stool. And back here. August 30th, 1994. You can see that down there in the screen. I need the wind thing on here so we can talk. Well, who are you? Well, I'm Lila Constantine. I'm Mars Constantine. Well, Parents I'm of Phil Constantine, Michael Constantine, and Milton Constantine. Yeah. Right. Well, when were you born? When I was born, February the 7th, 1929. Who were Dallas, your parents? Texas. Who were your parents? My parents were my father, which I never did know, was Mars B. Constantine Sr. What's B stand for? Benjamin. Why didn't you know him? He died two months, what I understand, before I was born. He died? That's what I understand. Now, the, story, I, the story I don't... The story don't... was, I, ne I have no truthful knowledge that he disappeared up at that Now, the story I had heard told a long time ago was that your mother's name was, what was her name? Eula. Eula McGoy. Laura Eula McGoy. What was her maiden name? McGoy. McGoy. Okay. No, she, no Lawson. Lawson. Her maiden name was Laura Eula Lawson. Is that what she was born as? Right, Lawson. Right. And, and then how's McGoy getting She married my dad, which was Constantine. Right. And then, and, uh, I don't know say what year it was, I don't remember, and she married to Pete McGoy. And she was a McGoy from Alto, Texas. Did they, have any, did they have any kids? No. Okay. And uh, as far as I know, her and he never did get a divorce. And they were separated in 1939. Mag McGoy. McGoy. And he died, she died in 1970. So neither one of them got divorced from each other. How old was she when she died? She was 74. When was she born? 1896, August the 29th, 19, I mean 1896. Sorry. All right, now the story I had heard was that uh, they were living in New York, is that correct? New Jersey. New Jersey, okay. And uh, that uh, because she was pregnant, with you, right. the doctor told her that because of her health, uh, whatever the, re the weather was not good in New Jersey and she should come back to Texas for her health. She moved back and took all of her kids with her to Texas, as I understand it. And then a couple of months later, she got a Dear Eula letter from uh, Morris Benjamin Constantine Sr. saying, "It's gee, it's been fun, but uh, I'm going to stay in New York, New Jersey, and good luck with the rest of your life. Now, where did I hear that story? You heard that? I'm sure from either my mother or my older sister. You haven't heard me. that story? Yes, I've heard that story, and I've heard a story from my aunt. My aunt seems to know more about it than what my mother did. My aunt Olivia, my, old, my mother's only sister. Uh -huh. She said that my dad was uh, a cabinet maker, and she said he was an interpreter for General Sherman. Sherman, Sherman or Pershing? Pershing, Pershing I'm sorry. Pershing. Pershing. So he spoke do I know more about this than you do? Yeah. He spoke nine languages fluently and said he was an interpreter for him. Yeah. That's the story she tells. In World War One. Right. But she says that he died. Right. Now, do you think she might have said that just okay. to make you feel better about it? It's possible. And so you well, were... my mother didn't have a whole lot to say about my dad. I that And every time we'd ask her questions, she'd get off on another story. Yeah. She just didn't... The subject. What she you're saying is she didn't like to talk about it. That's correct. Yeah. But my understanding from the mother was that he just never did join her in Texas. He was and supposed then, to, and he never did. And he did write her a letter saying it's it's I, over. I say when I was about nine or ten years old, someone came to Alto looking for my mother. And everybody, the description that they give of the gentleman that was looking for my mother, she described him as my dad. But he never did make contact with my mother. Yeah. What? Was, I'd say that was in, say, 39... 40, somewhere in there. Maybe, yeah. maybe a year than, an earlier year than that. How did they meet? They met when she was a telephone operator in New Jersey. What was she doing in New Jersey? Had she lived there before? I mean, why was she going back to Texas if she was living in New Jersey? That I can't answer. Where did she go back to in Texas when she came back? When she came first to Corsicana, where she had uh, some, I, I don't know, I'm not going to give a name, but I'm not for sure. Some person that she knew, knew the McGoy, and they asked her to come back to Coors County because they wanted to introduce her to Pete. And that's where she met Pete McGoy, Coors County. Okay, so. Well, now, when she came back from New Jersey, 
Didn't she come to Dallas, Texas to give birth to you? Mm -hmm. but I mean, when she well, where came, did she go first, Dallas or Corsica County? She came to Dallas, and then from Dallas to Corsica County. You were already born when she met me. Right. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. But well, it's okay. In no particular order. She came to Dallas, you know, first. Better for her health, what the doctor says. And she had yeah. me, and then some, somebody that knew her and knew Pete got them together. Okay, now your father, uh, what do you know about him other than being a Persian? I understand he might have been born in, you've heard he was born in Spain, you've heard he was born in Russia. That's correct. You've heard he was Jewish. Yes. So tell me some of the stories you've heard. I mean, what what have you heard about Spain? What have you heard about Russia? I've heard he's born in Mar Margarita, Spain. In Say Margarita. that again. Margarita, I guess, I'm not saying the word. Marguerite, oh, Marguerite. Marguerite, Spain. And my sister. I have two older sisters, and one of them, the first certificate says he was born in uh, Odessa. Odessa, Russia. Mm -hmm. And my other sister said he was born in uh, Spain. And mine don't say anything. Don't give a. There's no blank a, for it, or it just wasn't filled in? I don't think it's a blank for it. Okay. I have to go. I need to go get that out. So what are the family? What's the family story that you heard from your sisters or mother or relatives my about him? <coughs> my oldest sister, I have, a, I have one picture of my dad, and he's putting my oldest sister in a buggy. Well, I got a picture of him standing outside a house all by himself. Mm -hmm. But he's got a wagon behind yeah, him. Yeah, a buggy behind him. That's a wagon behind him. Okay. And that's, that's one picture we have. And he's right. pulling Dorothy. And her and Allison, my old, uh, sister just older than her, they actually know him, but they don't really know anything about him. They have, they have recollections of him. Yeah, so. they have recollections of what he looked like and talked to him and lived with him. But they don't. So you only have two sisters or right. no brothers? No brothers. So your mother, two sisters, and you eventually right. at one point living together somewhere in Texas. That's correct. Right. right. How did, uh, well, where's your mother from? She's from Barristop, Texas. That's where she was born? Right. You know much about her parents? Not from the parents. I said, well, she told me her daddy was a barber. And he had about uh, eight. And his name was? His name was, uh, hmm, I can't remember his first name. Will Glosson. Will Glosson? Right. Okay. And he was a barber, and he had about eight kids. One boy named Ivy, one named Solon, one named Johnny. And he had a daughter named Olivia, and my mother named Eula. And he had a son named Solon. And a son named Solon. There's another one. So you had lots of uncles and aunts. That's correct. Did you meet yeah, many of them? One aunt. Well, all right, one aunt and several uncles. Did yeah, you meet I, any of them? I met one aunt and one uncle. Or were the rest of them just living their own lives somewhere else? Well, or? One of them fished for horses. He used to send his horses all the time in Bayside, Texas. He'd mm -hmm. send his horses, a gallon of horses, probably every year for years when we lived in my house. And all, of them would, and all of them would be in their 80s or 90s or something like that if they were alive now, Probably roughly. Or and more older. My mother was the uh, next to the oldest. So Olivia was the oldest, and my mother, and then the boys. And Olivia is gone. And Olivia is gone. Uncle Johnny is gone. And I'm assuming Uncle Ivy is gone. And uh, so Solon is gone. gone. And I can't answer that. And, and your grandmother? My grandmother never didn't know. I know where she's buried. What's I, her name? Hmm. Mary Gloss. Mary Gloss. Where she, you know her maiden name or mom? Do you know her maiden name? Where's she buried? She's buried in right at Austin Dripping Spring. Right His Austin. mother's mother died when her youngest child was born. She got birth. blood poisoning. Okay. Shortly Is that after. Olivia? Uh -huh. The youngest child. The youngest uh, child oh. was Johnny. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. And Olivia was the oldest child. Oh, okay. But Uncle Johnny was the youngest child, and he he was a few weeks old when. Uh, their mother died of blood poisoning or complications after birth. Right. And then uh, his grandfather married another lady named Mary. What was, what was her name? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So do you have any uncles or aunts that are still alive that you know of? Did you, well, did your grandmother have any brothers or sisters that you know of? Or even just college. vaguely recollect, don't don't really know, or is the answer no, my she didn't have any, or I just don't know. My mother had two half brothers that I've been knew several years. Oh, yeah, Thomas George, Glosson, and uh, Glosson, and 
Marvin Glover. And so this is from That's the second the woman named Mary. Right. So your your stepmother. No. No, no. Your step grandmother and your grandmother are both named Mary. Right. I think so. Well, I understand. Yeah. So her, what and are your my grandfather, what I understand came to Houston at one time and the back of that years and time they used to trade animals for land. And he owned land in Blanco, Texas, and had all rights on it. And he gave some to one of the different the kids up there. And he came to Houston and traded a pig and a cow for several square blocks off of Harrisburg and Eastwood. And that's what the deed says. Uncle Marvin showed me the, the deed. So who's Uncle Marvin? Uncle Marvin? Who's Uncle Marvin? Is the oldest half brother to my mother. Okay. Uncle George is the oldest of the half brothers. What are their names? Glosson? George Glosson and Marvin Glosson. Mar Uncle Marvin passed away a couple of years ago. Now, is this the guy who used to work for somebody that ran a lumber terrier? He owned a lumber, he owned lumber, a lumber yard and he owned a, a kind of a discount lumber. Right. Okay. And Uncle George. So did, he, so did they become rich and famous and millionaires because they owned all of downtown Houston? And he, he first may have built a house in Spring Branch on Marvin, and they, him and J.S. Norman. They said, that's where you're going to lose your shirt. They bought 50 acres on an assumption that they would sell the lots as they sold them. And that's the agreement they signed. They paid for them as they sold them. They paid for them as they sold them. They said, we're going to lose your shirt. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you folks know, but if anybody lives Spring in the Houston Branch area, you might use Big deal. Or Spring Branch is they, they both came millionaires. Mm. Well, were they millionaires? They were they wealthy for the time. They were wealthy, I'll put that away, yes. Are any of their relatives still around that you know of, or your they're, cousins they're, or whatever? Uh, adopted son is still around. That's Marvin Eugene Lawson Jr. He's yeah. adopted, but that's his name. And Uncle George has Uncle seven George children. Has uh, James James Olive Lawson, Richard Lawson, and Billy Lawson. So and if you find some, I know all three of those are still alive. How common a name is Lawson? Have you ever heard of it before? There wasn't a relative. Mm -hmm. So odds are, if we run into a Glosson, they might, in Texas Glosson. at least, they might be at least distantly related. Billy Glosson, he's been in business for us. He's a plumber. Say, he's a plumber. He's been in business for himself. He used to be a, a boxer or rasher. Boxer, I believe it was. Yeah. They're, mm -hmm. One of their children, their oldest son, J.O., came in my office one day. And, uh, well, I was thrilled to death. James Oliver uh, Glosson, I was just thrilled to death. I went flying out there and I said, uh, you're J.O. Glosson? He said, yes. And I said, your mother was uh, Lois and your dad was uh, George? Yeah. I said, well, my husband is uh, Ben Constantine. He said, yeah. I said, well, he's your cousin. He said, uh-huh, yeah, well. I mean, he was so disinterested. Mm. I said, well, you know, what a pleasure to get to meet you something. Yeah, that's me, okay. And he just was very, very disinterested, very disinterested. He didn't want to... No, but he could have had a bad day, or do you oh, know? Oh, uh, yeah, bored to me. Any time paying and his taxes just, wasn't a happy time. No, he was buying a license plates with him. Billy Glosson, the one just younger than him, uh, mm -hmm. I communicate with him quite often. I talked to him here sometime last year. And mm -hmm. he's fixing to retire. He's been a con plumber contractor for years and years, so was his daddy. Mm -hmm. His daddy worked for himself. Then he worked for some big construction outfit in White Sands, New Mexico. And when he retired, they put him on consultant for about four or five years while he was building, finished building White Sands, New Mexico. Right. Now you got two sisters. Who who were they? When were they born? My oldest sister is uh, Dorothy Perkins. And she was born uh, November of the 5th, 1921, I believe. What's her middle name? Dean. Dean Dorothy Dean. Dean. Dorothy Dean Perkins. Yeah. And uh, she has uh, three children. There's a boy that's uh, born in 1945. Has a girl. Hmm. Another boy born in 1947. And Gloria born in 1953 uh, or four. What? So I can't remember that. So I understand. As I recall, Gloria was younger than me, and I was born in '52. And my other youngest sister is named Elsie Lee Murphy. Mm -hmm. And she was born uh, September the 4th, 1924. Yep, she, and had. she has two children. Uh, son was born 20, uh, January the 4th, 1944. 
His first name, no, Arthur is. It's all one name. Arthur, Mac. It's just Arthur, Mac, Murphy. Mm -hmm. Well, then it's not Mac Arthur. It's Arthur, Arthur Mac. Arthur, Mac, Murphy. Right. And the girl is uh, Ivanelle. Can't have no. I don't think she has a middle name. And her That's last distinctive name is, enough. Uh, right? uh, her last name is Henry. She yeah. just lost her husband here yeah, on the fifteenth of uh, August of this right. year. He was 51. He lived until September 19. He would have been 52 years of age. Died of a heart attack. Yeah. And they have one son that's about 20, 21 years old. Yeah, you got a bunch of other cousins and etc. running around yeah. you haven't talked about. The well, Peels. Who are the Peels? That's my mother's sister. Her name was Peels. She was married to Olivia. Uh, Olivia. Her name was Olivia Peels. She was married to Elmer Peels. And they had 18 children. And every one of them is, I can give you several names, I couldn't tell you. Didn't they have 12 or 13? Uncle Solon okay. had 16 children. Well, you know, they had several children. They'd peel one off every once in a while. Right. And he worked at the post office, <laughs> and everybody said, How can you raise kids working at the post office? And he said, Back that time, each one of the kids just older, he raised the other. Help. You know, so. Mm -hmm. so, and I have one uncle in a tape chip business, one of the cousins was. He's a tape chip doctor in Austin. Had one work for the post office. It had uh, two of them. That were, one was the fire chief, and the other was a captain with the fire department. And one that owned the <coughs> floor company. I mean, I go on name several of them, but uh, I'm part of getting all of those names. I can't remember. <coughs> what are some of their names? <coughs> Any of them you can remember? <coughs> Edith is one of them, and uh, Patsy is one of them, and. Uh, Laura Edith is one of them. And, uh, Billy. Billy is one Lumpkin. of them. Billy and uh, Marvin, I mean, not Marvin, Milton Glosson. Mil I'm sorry, I'm getting on the wrong side. <laughs> Milton Field. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Who else? Uh, Can you think of anybody else? No, I don't think. They have a daughter that was, uh, what was her name, that was in the home. Joyce. She had a mentally retarded daughter that she had measles when she was pregnant with this one daughter and, and it caused her to be Cell mentally retarded. Yeah. her brain when she was three years old and, and she died. Is that what's wrong with this girl behind you here who keeps yeah. making faces? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Okay, that's enough, Sarah. Thank you. For all of you, that was your great 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 grandmother, Sarah Constantine, acting like a total idiot. Okay. Another cousin was named Douglas Peel. He was a military.